What's going on everybody, Linus here, and welcome to the demo of Kingdoms of Emelur The Reckoning, or just Reckoning, I guess. So, um, I actually saw some videos on the internet about the demo, and a lot of people just made a playlist for their Let's Play that they're planning on doing, and they made the demo part one. Now, I, that doesn't seem fair to me, because then people will think, if they search for Let's Play Kingdoms of Emelur, they get a demo. And that's not really fair, so I'm going to label it as demo, because that's what it is, and I'm not, you know, a view whore. So, um, the demo was released, I think, yesterday, and I actually didn't even know it until later um, that night, basically. I didn't really have time to record a commentary for it. And I saw the demo was out on the marketplace, and I was just very anxious to play it. Um, because this, this is probably the most, um, the game I've, I've, you know, most looked forward to in February. Uh, there's another few great games coming out, but I mean... Um, when I saw some videos, it looked like, well, sort of a massive RPG. Um, not, not really as much as Skyrim, but it looked very good. And I mean, if the words RPG and massive are in one sentence, then there's alarm bells going off in my head. They're like, ring, ding, ding, b b uh, blah, blah, something. Um, you know, check this out. So I'm going to play it, and I'll let you guys know what I think afterwards. But I'm just very excited to, to finally get the demo. I already... Logged in for like five minutes, already played, but you get some free items, you get some Mass Effect 3 armor, too. Uh, let's check out the options first. Hide helmet, do not need that. Vibration graphics, oh, just brightness, audio subtitles, let's turn those on. And that's pretty much all the options we have so far. Looks fine. Play story mode, here we go. Uh, normal. Yup. You can zap nearby enemies with shocking damage. Try using shocking attacks against large groups. So it sort of looks like Skyrim 2 in the sense that you have loading screens with tips, and that, uh, most RPGs do that probably. But I'm just really excited to see the game. From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable Fae folk. <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. It's racist. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha de Leon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each Tuatha fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged, for ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written, at least, that is what we believed, until you died. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheep, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. Oh my goodness! Am I a zombie? Oh! Okay, so we get to create our character. 
the Almain or Almain are a warlike and religious nation of, of a storied origin. Many Almain or Almain come to the Phalans seeking freedom while honoring the traditions of their home. They have a racial bonus, uh, one for al alchemy, blacksmithing plus two, and persuasion plus one. Looks pretty. Looks sort of like the warrior, probably, um, race. Varani. Hardened by the high seas, the Varani are just as frequently pirates and mercenaries as they are shrewd merchants. They favor swords and daggers as seaworthy weapons. So it looks sort of Viking-y or pirate-y to me. Lock picking plus two, mercantile plus one, detect hidden plus one. Uh, d wow. Leo so far are proud and ancient people from the frozen lands of the north. They judge themselves fit to divine right from wrong under wind, sun, and sky and meet an uneven handed justice. Ratio bonus. Dispelling plus two, alchemy plus one, sagecraft plus one. So they're, I guess they're the mages. They look, he looks very magey. We have the Dokal Far are renowned or renowned as sophisticated students of magic and diplomacy. While they do not shy from conflict, they prefer to resolve disputes subtly and with grace, or efficiently in silence. Ratio bonus bonuses Sagecraft plus one, persuasion plus one, stealth plus one. So it's not they all have they all share certain things, but I think they all have like one unique one. So that would be um Stealth for him, dispelling for this guy, lock picking for him, and blacksmithing for him. Um, and you can just pick the race that you, that you like. I'm actually not sure which one I should pick. I think I'm going to go with this one because he seems the most neutral, I guess. He's, you know, he's pretty neutral uh, amongst those things. Um, I, think, I guess this is sort of the, the speech guy. He doesn't prefer combat, but stealth and, and, and speaking. So I'm going to go with this guy. Um, oh, a patron bonus. Okay. Vraycor, God of Fire, and Patron of the Forge, you get plus 6 fire damage and plus 6 fire resistance. That's all percentages too. Water is uh, your dear, basically the same, but with ice. War, 5% physical damage, 5% armor. Uh, Balan, God of Death, plus 1% chance to critical hit and plus 8% critical hit damage. They got Mis Mischief, or Mischief, I don't even know. Lupoku, God of Mischief. Patron of Brewing, uh, poison damage, and you have none. You can just, you know, no god, you get an experience bonus. Um, so those are pretty good, I guess. I thought I had different. Oh, I guess all races have different. Well, let me just check this. So, all mean, they have fire, mana, physical damage, health, mana, health. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Health, health, mana, mana, El lightning damage, and elemental resistance. What about these guys? Mana, health, and critical hit. Chance to create okay, mana, magic, regeneration, and poison. So they all have their unique sort of gods. I think I'm gonna go with. Um, I want to be ice or fire. I'm gonna go with fire just to see if that's good. You have some presets to pick. Wow. Okay. Well, at least they're all pretty unique, I guess. I like this guy the most. I th or no, this guy. Let's change his. Uh, his face is actually pretty cool. I don't want to change him too much. I don't really want to take the time for all that. Let's make his eyes blue. Eyeshadow. I don't need that. Stubble. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, any more? It's not really too detailed, but it's it you know it, it does the job right, I guess. I don't even know how much you actually get to see your character in game. Because um, I haven't really played it yet. But I think it's third person, so that looks pretty cool. Okay, let's make it a bit darker, a bit brownish. Can I get, like, a cool Viking beard? No? Not really, really just the small ones. I want the, the beautiful mustache. There we go, eyebrows somewhat darker. Accessories. Jewelry. Ew, no. I don't want jewelry. Go away. Tattoo. You have a bunch to pick from. Some are pretty cool, while others are somewhat weird or lame. Um... Yeah, this one looks pretty badass, I guess. Let's make it a bit... Another color, maybe. It looks a lot like Skyrim, where you had to, to face tattoos as well. I want it to be too noticeable. I'm going to make it this color. Tattoo intensity. So you can make it really intense if you wanted to. And then you can see pretty easily. And you got... Fa oh, God, that's the same one. Okay. Confirm. So that's our character that we just created. I already forgot the race name, too. I, don't, I can't remember that stuff. That's too... Varani. Must have been a mercenary come to fight in the war. I could have told him how he'd end up. Not in bad shape, though, all things considered. All right, then. 
Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. Oh, we actually do get to name him. I'm just going to go with the default name, because who cares anyway? I don't care when it's just a demo. But we do get to rename our character, which is nice. What the hell? Wow. You just throw your buddies in like a, a pit? Yeah. Yeah, that's disgusting. Oh, what the fuck? Ew, look at him. Oh, barefoot too, that's you. Ooh. That's an interesting intro, to say the least. Oh, I, I think it just went into... Yep, so here we go. This is our character with a nice mustache. We got a, an active quest. Uh, okay, left thumbstick controls the character, right just does the camera. Can I jump? Nope. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Cool animation for that. Okay. What? Just, oh. That was a bridge that just broke. Quest update it. Out of the darkness, find a way out. There's disposal notes. Seriously, you're crying. If you want to read this, you can just pause the video and then take your time. But I'm, you know, I am not going to take the time to read all that myself right now. It's an open chest, so I guess it's empty. What's over here? Ooh, sparkles. I love those. Loot it. Nine gold. And this is the thing that broke, so there's no way to get over there. But okay. Oh, you sprint by pressing A. Okay, good to know. I don't think there's a stamina bar, so you can probably... Rusty sword. So this is the... Add to junk as an option, I see. Compare it to a weapon you already have, and you can t just take it. Menu. <coughs> Let's take a good look at everything we got. Inven inventory. So we can go with... Okay, primary weapon. Long sword. So we can probably dual wield weapons too, right? Uh, but I only have one. You have armor... Accessories, don't have any of those. Consumables, none. Items, disposal notes. Uh, quests. Uh, this quest log contains all your quests. You can set your active quest by selecting a quest and pressing A. Simple enough. Find a way out. I woke up in a pile of corpses somewhere deep underground. I have no memory of who I am and no clue where I am. I need to find a way out of here. So that's our active quest. You got side quests. I see tasks. Complete it too. But I didn't complete any yet. So, Okay. Interesting. Uh, abilities. Do we have any? Whoa. Okay. So this is the skill tree. I was actually really interested to see this because I haven't seen it yet. We have sorcery, finesse, and might. Uh, I guess we already have one point somewhere in this one for some reason. Longsword mastery. Extra damage. So you probably get like skill points when you level up and you can pick your, your tree and then upgrade it that way. We've got might. I'm not going to go through all of them right now. I'm, I can do a separate video if you guys want me to or if you can just, you know, you can always download the demo for yourself to see. Finesse. That's with bows, daggers, sneaking probably, that sort of stuff. Some sort of, yeah, assassins. And now we got sorcery, which is staffs or staves. Damn, I want to use staves as a weapon. But well, that's an option you have, I think. You're, you're not, you know, bound to anything. Upheaval. I don't even know what that means. That's probably attack, pause, attack. So that's X, X, I guess. 
there's a bunch of moves that you can unlock. A lot for longbows, I have one too. There's a lot of moves. Staves too, scepters, shields, might, finesse, sword.